Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great day of trading. Uh, some awesome action. Again, we'll get to that uh, in a second. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel and you're joining us here for the very first time, welcome aboard. You know, I, I encourage you to subscribe, uh, like, share uh, anybody who you believe can benefit from unbiased uh, technical analysis. Not about being right. Again, we're wrong a lot. It's just taking in the data. Okay, we'll get to everything that we talked about last night in the video. Uh, taking in the data and waiting for it to confirm. Nothing more, uh, nothing less. As far as, as, uh, as, far as the day-to-day -day basis, that's all it is. We're trying to figure out uh, what's going to happen the next day based on uh, the data that we got the night before. Uh, so let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it. So uh, a few things happened today. Uh, obviously, uh, FOMC was, I don't want to use the word, a crucial point of the day, but it was definitely on watch. Uh, you know, they didn't really didn't say anything. Uh, they talked about a lingering inflation. That's not really anything uh, earth shattering. We've been hearing about lingering effects of this inflation for a while. I don't think anybody uh, expected rates to, to drop to zero uh, by these minutes. So I don't think that was anything uh, that was uh, earth shattering. Uh, what I do believe that was most important is what happened three days ago, right? Three days ago, if you guys remember, we lost uh, the 50-day moving average on the queues. Um, and again, if you are brand new to trading, uh, the 50-day moving average is very important. Uh, you know, when we lost the 50-day moving average in uh, 2022, it resulted in a 31% decline uh, in the NASDAQ 100, about 20% or 20, you know, whatever it was, 20% on the SPX. So we lost the 50-day moving average only we had this weird day the next day if you guys remember we reclaimed it for whatever reason we reclaimed it there was a monster rally and we reclaimed it and the following day which was yesterday we gave it all back and based on yesterday's close if you watched last night's video i said i would have been stunned okay absolutely stunned if we rallied today and got back the 50 day it would have been you know obviously it was on the table it was possible but i would have been stunned and today we got, um, you know, we basically got rewarded from our research. We got rewarded from understanding the basis of the reason why technical analysis is so valuable. Uh, when it all comes down to it, guys, it's not about uh, some Twitter trader you, 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 you look up to and revere and some guy and asking people's opinions. It's all in the charts, folks. It's all in the charts. There, you know, sometimes, like I, I say, you know, sometimes the charts won't tell you the truth, but they're not going to lie to you either. You know, there might be some bumps and bruises along the way, but generally you're getting a pretty vivid view of what's about to happen next. And if you refuse to believe that technical analysis is real, well, I hope, you know, hopefully you did prepare for what happens, uh, what happens next. And as you saw, stocks trade from supply to supply, uh, demand to demand. We lost a 20 day moving average. And again, if you've been following this broadcast just in the last three weeks, you kind of know what's going on, right? You lost a 20 day we traded to the 50, we lost the 50 day, and now this is day three out of four uh, below the 50 day moving average. The only difference is we confirmed uh, the 100 day moving average as well. And if you guys remember in last night's video, I gave you guys two uh, two pivots, right? I gave you two macro pivots. We talked about last night. All you do is go back to last night's video. You know, we talked about, um, you know, Q stopped at 364.70 twice. They held it twice. Today, they took it down and they took it down. We talked about the spies yesterday, right? We talked about the spies first close uh, below the 50-day moving average. We talked about the importance of the 442 level. Well, that 442 is gone as well. And now you have your first close on the spies below the 100-day, the 50-day. Uh, and now you, you can see how much room you have down. And the same thing uh, with the QQQs. Now, keep this in mind. The first thing somebody's going to turn around and say, you know, well, the, the market can't go. Yeah, absolutely right. The market cannot, will, will not go down uh, every single day. You know, this was a pretty uh, hefty decline today. Uh, if you were prepared for it, uh, like, you know, like you should have been, um, then you are okay, right? I think you're okay. I think you are uh, in the right position uh, to succeed and kind of position yourself 
uh, for tomorrow's session. But if you're sitting there, right, if you're absolutely sitting there and you, you know, you have those visors on that we talked about three days ago when they initially lost the 50 day moving average and you're in denial and you're going to be buying dips. Again, all you have to do is revert to what happened, uh, you know, in 2022 when people did not understand the importance of the 50 day moving average. And we've been kind of driving the point home now for the last three days, the importance of getting back above, uh, you know, and it gets, it's a very uh, important cheat sheet, right? And write this down, guys. It's a very important cheat sheet. Anything above the 50 day moving average is bullish. So basically any dip into rising support, you want to buy. When it's below the 50 day moving average, it's a sell signal. So every rally will get stuffed into supply. That's just the ramifications. Every rally you want to sell or short uh, into supply. And if you see what's been happening here uh, in the last three days on the queues, even despite this one big rally here into the 50 day moving average, now we've put in three days in a row of uh, low, uh, lower highs and lower lows. And now we are below uh, the 100 day moving average. So again, look, is the market going to go down tomorrow? 10,000%? Who knows, right? That's, I mean, that's where the sell signal is, right? But again, is it possible we rally? Again, that's what we had in 2022. You would have, you know, two, three, four days of selling. Then you have a snapback rally. And those days are kind of, you know, meaningless, kind of a non-event because they're reverse uh, trend rallies. Nobody cares about those. Those dead cat bounces sometimes go for 50 cents. Sometimes they go for 10 cents. Sometimes they don't go at all. So those days you kind of want to avoid. But when they start confirming the next day, the previous day's low from the previous day, that's when you're getting the biggest washes. And when you go through your charts tonight, you're going to see a lot of names that we've talked about and covered. And we have pivots left and right today uh, all across the board. You can see the importance of when they fail those levels, why they fail those levels. And now the continuation of those levels uh, are going to be important. So very, very important, guys. Just a quick cheat sheet, especially if you are uh, brand new to trading above the 50 day, like we had uh, ever since uh, up to three days ago, has been bullish below the 50 day. What we saw in 2022 is bearish. Where you want to start getting long again is if we reclaim the high from two days ago of roughly 371 in the queues. Before that, you know, everything else is just going to be a dead cat balance. And again, like I've said all the time, uh, I don't believe in the theory of one stock is standing out, right? I believe in the theory 10,000 stocks are not. You want to go with the mass and you want to go with the with the whole, not some of the parts. And that's the way I think it's the most conducive and feasible way uh, to conduct yourself in a sell side environment. You know, how long this is going to take? I don't know, right? We don't know. We, we can't speculate. Again, we're trying to uh, survive the day. We're trying to take advantage of the price action for the next day. And beyond that is anybody's guess. Is it possible the NASDAQ goes down one day, then it has this uh, giant engulfing candle and rallies back and takes down four days worth of selling and reclaims the 50-day moving average? Sure, we actually saw that two days ago, which was amazing, only to give it back. Is it possible it lingers for the rest of the year and we're having this whole conversation and this whole gap fill all the way down to 350 on the queues? That's on the table as well. So you really have to understand where you are in the dynamics. There are no breakouts below supply, guys. I'm telling you this right now. The strongest stocks in the world will get faded. Even NVIDIA today has been the strongest stock for the last three, four days. It just couldn't last. It couldn't sit there and fight through the waves of selling. Eventually, the buyers get tired and they go away. So it's very, very important to kind of trade from both sides of the market, have a game plan, have an understanding where we are, right? Where we are, where we're not. Again, we're not in a buy the dip environment. We are a sell into supply environment and trading into ranges below the previous day's range. And just a quick reminder, just before uh, we continue uh, for tonight's video, if you are curious, right? And again, a lot of you guys have been loyal members of the YouTube channel. If you guys are finally ready uh, you know, check out the webinar, man. Check out the webinar. That's where the whole PS60 theory goes down. Uh, everything is in front of you. We teach you exactly how these pivots work. There's nothing ambiguous about these and that these very specific levels. Uh, and most important part is the way they flow in real time. And you get a sense of how to trade both sides of the market. So if you are interested, uh, like we talked about two days ago, we are running uh, a very, very great offer uh, it's like 47 bucks for the month. Come in, kick the tires, see if it's right for you. Again, like I said, is it for everybody? I don't think it's for everybody, right? I just don't. Uh, but if you are, you know, if you are a sensible trader with patience or, you know, in, in a decent size, uh, decent size of understanding how 
Uh, the moving parts of the mark will work. I think you'll like it. Uh, the stale goes on till tomorrow. So if you want to join us, uh, you know, again, you have two days uh, to kick the tires and spend the next 30 days to see uh, if this is a right fit for you. So let's talk about the pivots, right? Uh, again, great, great day. An awesome, awesome day today. Uh, yesterday, we talked about Tesla. Remember we talked about Tesla, guys? Talked about Tesla yesterday. Uh, we came in, came in short the stock uh, yesterday. Here is the here is the deciding factor here. Um, yesterday it got rejected perfectly off the two thirty four twenties. Although it wasn't a major area for potential overnight, as we talked about in last night's video, it felt like somebody knew something. Remember we talked about that in the last night's video. It felt like we somebody knew something. They were coming for uh, the two thirty calls, the uh, two thirty puts, the two twenty five weeklies, the two twenty weeklies. Uh, we hedged that with some queues, only 30% of the queues. Tesla opened down $2 this morning. Queues were up $1.30 pre-market. Once, once in a while, you hit on both sides, and that's exactly what happened. And again, the old adage, someone knows something. Yes, yeah, somebody does know something. Uh, you know, This was the second price cut of Tesla in the last uh, two out of the last three days, and the stock got hit. Congratulations to all you guys who, who took it overnight. Uh, really, really great moves. And again, here's uh, you know, here's our whole point here. Uh, you know, we woke up. I was up at four o'clock in the morning. I saw this thing started caving in, and it was awesome. Uh, you know, like I said, guys, you know, when it got down to twenty-seven, guys, get down to like 10, 15 percent uh, of your position. Just an absolutely amazing, uh, amazing move. Uh, again, follow the money, follow the option flow, and it paid off uh, really, really well. Uh, let's talk about some other things, right? Apple 17650 didn't confirm yet. I really like Apple for tomorrow. Uh, let's watch this Apple. If the market continues this weakness, look at this range, you guys. It's very, very close. If, if Apple can start building below this range, you know, it could get hit. So let's keep an eye. Definitely, definitely keep an eye on Apple, but it did not confirm today. Spies. Remember we talked about spies in last night's video? We gave both prices on spies, on spies and the queues. 442, if it builds below, can flush. Here was the spies. Uh, they built below, and once the, the Fed minutes were over, uh, you know, they traded all the way down to 439. Uh, coin obviously didn't confirm to the up to the upside. Uh, Roblox, I'm still watching. It did not confirm yet, okay? There was two stocks I gave you yesterday uh, for you guys to watch for the earnings lows plays. Roblox is very close, okay? Roblox is very, very close. It's like the same play as Snapchat. Remember with Snapchat? We, you know, I've been short this thing. For three days, just an orderly, just an orderly sell-off here. I'm hoping you can see this Bollinger Band here in the 880s, but it's the same thing. Once they start losing uh, the bottom channel, their earnings lows, they start to get hit. So look at our RBLX. Watch this RBLX uh, for tomorrow. This thing looks like it's almost uh, ready to go, right? Almost ready to go. Uh, here we go. Here was the other one, right? DOCN. I started to position this thing today. Uh, we shorted off this thing off this 3430 level. That's the earnings lows. It's the same thing we talked about last night in the video. That's actually one of the stocks we talked about last night in the video. Uh, this is the lowest close in this whole formation. Again, another example of the earnings lows. If it starts building below today's channel, who knows? Maybe we could get a two, three, four day decline would be would be really, really nice. But so far, a really nice move. So far, uh, about a 75 cent move there. Uh, QQQs, again, we talked about this last night. 364.70 held twice. If it builds below, it can flush. Here's the QQQs. They took down this whole level. I uh, traded all the way down to 362. Again, just great, great moves. Uh, Netflix, if it builds below 418, it could flush. Again, there's nothing cloak and dagger, guys. These are the prices. Not, nobody's trying to trick you. The market's not trying to trick you. Uh, so, oh, excuse me, this is Netflix. We'll get the meta in a second. So here is Netflix took down the 18, and now it's on deck to take to challenge this the, to challenge the July uh, macro lows. You know, about three point move there on Netflix. Uh, Meta 298 held twice. If it builds below, it can flush. Here was Meta right took down the 298, traded all the way down to 294, and now Meta again is sitting just like a lot of stocks are sitting on the 50 day moving average. Again, if Meta starts confirming the 50 day. It could get hit as well. And uh, yeah, we were looking for a potential reversal in Tesla, which never came. Uh, take on the way down, you know, take take on the way down, uh, blah, 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 blah. That's it. That's it, guys. So awesome, uh, awesome session. Again, uh, people always say, you know, uh, there's an old adage out there. Luck resides 
uh, with those who are prepared. And every single day, win, lose, or draw, and there's a losses, there's winners, there's flat days, there's distribution days, there's tired days, there's nothing going on days, there's violent days. That's all we have as traders. You mix it up, you put it in a blender, and that is your trading career. Other than that, everything else is fantasy island, social media, all that nonsense. But it's all in the charts, guys. It doesn't make a difference if you're trading for 30 years, 30 months, or 30 days. All the information is right there in front of your charts, and everybody's on a level platform. Guys, have a great night. Have a blessed night for all you guys who are deciding to join us. Can't wait to meet you guys. Can't wait to uh, meet the new, new faces, and we'll look forward to working with you in the future. Guys, God bless. Have a great night. Uh, there is no video tomorrow. It's my normal Thursday night off, and I'll see you guys uh, on the field. Take care.